Nikita Khrushchev continues his tour of Poland, the Iron Curtain country with the greatest internal freedom, and the only one to even hint criticism of the Soviet. Mr. K stumps the grassroots with the folksiness of an American political running hard for re-election. However, Khrushchev is still playing the same tough game of power diplomacy toward the free world. The latest gambit, abrupt cancellation of his coming Scandinavian tour. But for local consumption, he's all smiles, even telling coal miners he used to be one himself, and that the smell of coal dust is still delectable. With tests of the X-15 space plane and training of her pilot nearing completion, the first flight of a man into the void of space beyond Earth's atmosphere is almost reality. Here, an artist's conception of the moment when, with a vast array of data monitoring devices at the ready on the ground, the X-15 drops loose from its mother plane to be hurled outward by the 50,000-pound thrust of its rocket engine. true spaceship, the craft is designed to provide up to 10,000 units of data to the ground observers during each second of its brief venture into free flight. Earth's gravity will reclaim the craft. Without power, it will re-enter the atmosphere and hurtle downwards at terrific speeds. Air friction will heat its surfaces white hot, the ultimate challenge it was designed to meet. The X-15 will home in on Edwards Air Force Base, California, gliding in at hundreds of miles an hour, back to Earth, after daring man's first brief venture into the infinite reaches of outer space. 